He's alive! I know you guys are thinking, what happened to this guy? He disappeared. I said I was gonna be, uh, look at this guy's top, huh? What the heck, dude? <laughs> Anyways, I uh, wanna let my friend Paul Padota and his family know, sorry, buddy. We'll have to catch each other another time. Uh, thought I was going to be able to make it, but I got beat. As you can see, I didn't even make any walks during the week. I was beat. Make a long story long, I was coming back from California, and I thought, <coughs> well, I had gone down <coughs> different highways. <clears throat> excuse me, a different highway than I normally take. And, um, I didn't bother to check any closures. So, needless to say, I'm on that road, and and I knew from last year when I went down it, that part of it was closed, but the part where it was closed, you could catch another road to get to the highway, right? Well, Apparently, during some flash floods this year, that little portion between the town and where that road is, um, where you can normally go, that part got totally shut down. I mean, they put those big old concrete barriers there, and I know you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bunch of cones. Can't move past this little bridge. And like I said, pretty sure that's from the flash flooding that probably took place. So instead of getting home at like, oh. <clears throat> so, instead of getting home at a decent time, I had to end up doubling back and going all the way more than an hour back from where I came from to catch another highway. So, by the time I got home, it was 9.30 p.m. on Sunday, and my day had started at 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. No, 6 a.m. on that Sunday. So, it was quite the long day. So, that's why I want to let you know, all in family, that uh, I couldn't make it. I mean, you, didn't, you saw... I didn't even walk this week. I was still uh, so tired from that drive. Whew. Just in case I forget to mention it, which I don't think I will, I uh, be here next weekend, Easter weekend. This will go up. Uh, and then, huh? oh, I can go in that door? Okay, cool. All right, so it looks like they're doing some work here. And we can't go, uh, what do you call it? Can't go past it because then we'll be in the street. So instead, we're going to use this side door. Oh. This is a poker room. You don't come across that situation ever, huh? But he did call me boss, so smart kid. Aki, can you believe what we made inside your property, buddy? Hopefully your uh, fasting and everything is going all right. Not totally exhausted and tired every day. Those for a good cause.
So, Paul, hopefully that explains uh, why I couldn't make it out here on Monday. And like I said, as you can see, I didn't make it out here on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. I didn't even make it downtown. And that's a 40 minute walk usually. I was just dead. Well, last night, we went to bed early. Woke up a little later than normal. And now I'm feeling good to go. Traveling Man Las Vegas. I think um, I'm looking forward to that setup you got for your camera. I'm wondering if you dump the phone. Oh. I'm wondering if you dump the phone set up and then you um, went with a full on camera gimbal. Or if you went with the Osmo Pocket 3. Looking forward to that. Well folks, David G. I know you're like, man, what the heck, dude? This weather is not very uh, nice today. Don't worry, it's supposed to be like, I think, 78 or 79. Hopefully the uh, clouds go away here during this walk. But no promises. They are getting this situation handled, so it's not such a uh, tight fit, we'll say. They're pouring that concrete. How far do you think it is? I was going to say, it looks like they got flavored concrete, but it's not flavored concrete, it's colored concrete. I don't know exactly how it works, how they color the concrete. Obviously, they put some type of dye there, but uh, I've only ever had regular colored concrete, you know, the gray stuff. So, but it looks like it's coming along. Wow, Darth Vader's here already? Hmm. I was gonna say, 10 a.m. Starting this walk a little later than I had anticipated. And the reason, part of the reason, well I got off to a later start, but the other part of the reason is that um, Oh, once again, the road that I used to get here. Oh, Darth turned his back on me. What the heck, man? I'm your emperor. Bow down, buddy. Oh. Um, the road that I used to get here to park at the MGM, it, um, <coughs> what do you call it? It was under construction, so instead of being five lanes wide, it was three lanes wide. I will let you folks know that I don't anticipate walking on Saturday, but if the wind calms down on Sunday, I'm uh, going to walk on Sunday, which is not my usual day, as you all know. I feel bad because I haven't been out here and it's like, what the heck's going on? Hank Diaz, I got some news for you on this walk, buddy. I know you had asked in your comment about the Tropicana employees. Um, as far as I know, Tropicana employees are all G-O-N-E gone once April 2nd rolls around. The Tropicana, like I said, as far as I know, doesn't have any uh, like sister properties where they could tell employees like, hey, um, so, I don't know, we need front desk agents at our other location, so, you know, we're going to offer folks who are 
based on seniority, a shot to go over there. Like I said, as far as I know, they don't have a sister property out here, so um, that's not going to be the situation. From what I remember reading, they're supposed to be putting employees' names on the marquee, thanking them you know, for their service, for sticking around this whole time. Look at this one. Not too sharp. Damn, and he's a charger. Damn it, Dudley. Is that you? Dude, are you playing? Are you, are you a plant here, buddy? To make the charger community look like a bunch of dummies? I knew it, buddy. I knew you'd send someone over. Your undercover guy, not so good. Or girl, I can't tell with the tinted windows. I'm just playing. But that was a dumb move from the charger. He's probably just getting a Mustang out of him. He probably owned a Mustang before. Seems like everybody's got a little, little plan. It's kind of like Nashville. Wow. That lady's bag was filled up. Famous wings, wood fire to pizza, delicious tacos, steak and lobster, as well as our signature dish. As seen on Instagram, the Oh, I was gonna say, oh, why aren't why isn't this guy moving? But when you got this one truck blocking everyone, it's kind of tough to do that. the pickup on the right I was referring to. Uh-oh, looks like... Look at the boulevard, huh? Oh, this shit's coming along. I keep giving them credit because they deserve it. These guys are dismantling the uh, scaffolding. I don't think I would want to be part of that process. Because, uh... I mean, I'm sure, obviously, they do it. They're professionals. But you take off the wrong, uh, the wrong piece and it could come tumbling down. Like, no thanks. I'd be like, can we just close off the strip, hit the, uh, knock the whole thing over, and then we'll break it down from that point? Obviously, that's not the reality. Dad, what's going on? I don't know if your uh, Hoosiers made the tournament or not. <clears throat> Surprisingly, I haven't seen a second of it. Well, I shouldn't say that. What was I last night? Oh. I was out getting something and they had the tournament on the TV. I think this is the best weekend for the NCAA tournament. After that, not saying it sucked, but all the excitement, all the upsets, not to, uh, it's like an overload of your senses with the amount of action going on. As you can see, we got a little bit of sun out here, David G. But uh, we need to get rid of the rest of the clouds. a little early but I do want to say thanks for those of you like I always say I continue to watch and comment like subscribe all that stuff but more that you don't mind my disappearing act you know, I'm gone for a couple weeks or a week here or there and, and then it's like oh he's alive again I can't believe it
Oh boy, that's why they got everything there. Okay, so two things. I'll probably mentioned this in the other videos too. Remember how I showed you the, uh, and we'll get a close, closer uh, up on the other side, but the Aria there, as you can tell, they're taking that off, everything off. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. I'm just gonna speculate. Maybe they're putting up uh, like LED screens or lights or something like that. But this one took a while, but it's finally making sense. Because remember they had all the scaffolding How you doing, and the young man? protection straight ahead on the other side. Well, that's why. Taking off those panels as well. I don't believe we actually have a working escalator. I think maybe we'll cut over to the Cosmo. Go through there. For those of you that are wondering right now, there's not even a breeze, it feels like. So, not too bad. Supposedly, it's supposed to get a little windy later. Let's see if I can. Depending on how this walk goes, see if I can maybe take a little walk later on. And then, uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to take a walk Saturday because it's supposed to be uh, 20 to 40 mile an hour winds or 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. And as you all know, with the audio, just like I can tell you guys, I try and not take walks during that because then the audio sounds like crap. That's one thing, well, I mean, that, I don't wanna say kills me, but that I can't stand is on these walks, hearing the wind blowing. It's a little after 10. Rainforest Cafe's got everything closed up still, huh? Oh, wow. Look at this. This whole area's been vacated, huh? I don't believe it. Interesting. I was going to say, Mary B., I don't think you're gonna watch the walks anymore because you can drive, I don't know, I'm gonna say 20 minutes. I don't have any idea where you live. Maybe 45 minutes, I don't know. And you can do your own walks on this trip and see what's going on uh, yourself. You what's up, bud? You drive a Hemi for real or is it just wearing the shirt? No, I drive a Hemi for real. What is its favorite color? Uh, it doesn't have a favorite color. All black it is. I drive a Hemi for real. Dudley, where are you when I need you, dude? I would have been like, lock that clown up for being a clown. And here we go, the sun is on us again. baby. to McDonald's. I'm trying to think where there's a McDonald's around here. I know there's one down by Harris. This elevator is out of service. Remember how I've told you guys in the past, like, oh, people will take a look at what you're wearing, especially like if you got something sports-wise, let's say, and they'll be like, hey, I see you're a Dolphins fan or whatever, right? And um, that's how they'll strike up the conversation. That was what that dude was trying to do 
with the Hemi thing. Oh, do you, drive, do you really drive a Hemi? And then, of course, you know, I said, oh, I don't have a favorite color or whatever. He said something about color. And then he's like, oh, I'll draw black then or something. Egg slut. Busy like usual. If we don't, if we come in here and we don't see a line at breakfast time, even around lunchtime it seems like, then I would be a little worried, like, what happened? It's a good tactic, I'm not gonna lie, because then you get the engagement, and then it's like, oh, some people will be like, okay, I can't just walk away, I gotta be polite and have that conversation or whatever with the person. I'm like, nah. That would be different. If it was like a showgirl going, hey, Eric, why don't you take a picture? I'd be like, oh, no, don't say that. Then I'd be like, okay, okay, okay. No, I'm kidding. I <laughs> still walk right past them. But if they were like, hey, stud, let me get your number, I'd be like, oh, shit, break time. Peter Wilkes. Let's see what's cooking at La Bene, or La Bene, sorry. I think you said you were coming out here, but I don't remember when. Jose, I know you're due to come out here in May, buddy. So you got about a little more than a month, huh? Yeah, I'll mention to you guys about my uh, trip again, just in case you wonder where I disappear to. When we get a uh, stop at a stoplight like usual, we'll try and get you a news story. I write them down on my little piece of paper and then I bring it out. I think I totally butchered it, Peter Wilkes. I thought it was La Bene, it's Va Bene. Eric, stupid. We'll just walk and we'll cut the line and everyone will be like, what are you doing? You can't cut in line. There's a line back there, buddy. Okay, we should get a banana there. That'll get us through our walk today. No, I'm kidding. Today's walk is sponsored by Jimmy Dean Breakfast Sandwiches. No, it's not really sponsored. But that's what I had for breakfast. And that's what's gonna get me through this walk. You know, I was thinking about doing a, a little roasty roast on my walks, but it probably, I probably won't do it. Cause a little too much controversy. But I thought about doing a little 
roast of other Vegas vloggers. But I guess I'd kind of have to watch them. And uh, pick up the personality and all that stuff. So, probably won't. Even with Norma, I really don't watch her. But, um, occasionally she comes up on my feed and that. And then I'll be like, oh, what's going on? And I'll be like, eh. <laughs> Sometimes the others do too. Like, uh, what's his name? Not leaving Las Vegas. Okay. And then, uh, Jacob. I think Jacob. Um, trying to think of who else. Um, obviously, traveling man, Las Vegas. But I watch his stuff. Trying to think. Who else? I don't know. I can't really think of anyone else. So. I thought it was going to be just me for this weekend. And by just me, like, is it? Nobody at my house, but then that changed, so I had thought, oh, I'll be able to make some extra walks in that, but then I was like, well, even if they weren't here, I won't be able to because of the wind being a uh, pain in my ass. Thank you. So there went that idea. Thank you. Um, so there went that idea. Said. Hopefully the wind is not bad on Sunday, and hopefully I'm in decent shape after today's walk. It's kind of funny. I've been doing this over two years, and I'm just thinking of things like... That would make my life easier out here, I guess. I could say. Like the... Hey, no, I don't think this one will be my thumb. She's ready for Easter. Well, we can't tell, but you'll see. We got the walk there. We're not gonna follow her. But there's our Easter bunny there. That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe I got the walk right on the queue there. Roush. It says don't walk. I can clearly see that's all right turn and no one's near it. I don't know the last time I took a morning walk like this because usually I would be doing the um, what do you call it? Usually I do the afternoons. Like I said, woke up feeling good. I haven't done any walks in about a couple of weeks. It's time to get my ass in gear. Working on the water fountains. They got three rigs out here today. They got these two here. There's that one. The one in the center of your screen. And then, oh, well, you probably can't see it now because you just went in that little canal. Kind of to the right of the lifeboat. That area opens up and they drive the rig in there.
Looks like they moved the scaffolding over here to Jasmine. Looks like they must be doing some type of painting. Facade upgrades, the sun, the sun beats everything up out here. I'm just gonna say that. So Mary B, if you're paying attention, it's powerful. That combined with the heat. The Mayfair, looks like that place got uh, some work done on it. I remember, it looks like they kind of, um, on all of them, Picasso, Louis Vuitton, this whole area, it looks like they tried to make it, <laughs> excuse me, it looks like they tried to make it darker around the lines and then lighter away from the lines. You gotta do those refreshes to keep it looking nice. Bring some talk about you, your property. Nice to be able to walk out here again. Sorry, Hank, we really haven't had a whole lot of news stories, but we haven't gotten any of the stops yet. I'm not a multitasking uh, genius. No, I'm kidding. I can walk and talk and read. But this area, if I can avoid it, avoid doing it here just because Sometimes the music's too loud and it says, YouTube says, you gotta cut that air time out. You wanna get paid. There were a couple of showgirls across the way Plus our little Easter bunny. I wonder if that's the same gal. I know you guys know. You're like, oh my lord. She used to be like around here. And there used to be a dude. Sometimes she was at the other end of the Bellagio. But um, she would always be there and just working alone with her own outfits and stuff as opposed to walking and working in a team like all the others do for safety purposes. Oh. Oh, but not trying to sit on. It's one bad thing, like I said. Nice and smooth and everything. But sometimes with the, uh, it doesn't turn quick enough. There was one of those got monk guys, you know, who sells the bracelets. But while he was walking in here, he wasn't trying to sell them. Smart guy. Don't bring Venetia, or Venetia, Bellagio security, uh, don't get on their radar. Well, don't get on anyone's radar security-wise. Right, my man Dudley? be like man you don't see them it's weird how you don't see them in certain areas this being one of them usually don't see them uh, over here nor in front of caesars usually you too did often know. you did tell me and i remember that it's a
Still got to make a little walk through the Tropicana here before it all ends. Oh, hey, I got a quick one for you. And I'll bring it up probably when we're walking through the Trop on one of the videos that I have here. They, um, if you're looking to stay at the Tropicana the last four nights that they're open for business, uh, it was reported, I think, by the Review Journal that the going rate, and I'm not joking, is $4.99 a night. $4.99 a night, dude. Not Super Bowl weekend. Not New Year's. Like, holy crap. And like I said, that's for the last four nights that they're open for business. April 1st will be the last night you can stay there because April 2nd is when they close. I didn't really read into this story, so maybe I'll try and read up on it. Um, but recently, there was talk about the whole F1 situation, like how they can improve things and all that for this upcoming F1. But I didn't really read about it because I'm like, realistic, I mean, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? I mean, the good thing is that they got a timeline, at least an idea here of how long it takes to build and get it all set up, so. They can have a better idea for, uh, what do you call it, for this upcoming F1. Rather than, hey, let's shut the whole place down for two months. Aki will make a special uh, trip this way just for you, buddy. Hank Diaz, don't be upset because I keep getting the walk sign. Couple of the showgirls over there by the Harris Bar. Got some cowboys, cowgirls. I thought the cowgirls maybe would be. Um... Oh, we'll talk about Margaritaville on the way back, or whenever I make my next walk. Either way. Come on, come on, take a picture with me. Like no. Here, they're like chatting. All right, no one's behind me, so I can a little stop here when we get a little closer Let's double check again I'll stay off to the side either way I think something man 
this darn strap is annoying with this little damn backpack that I wear all of a sudden. See if you can. So the Mirage is no longer a casino and resort. It's in Eno and Sort. I don't know what that is. Uh oh, Luis, that was the Buckeye Nation. Oh. It's a cowgirl, so that's a good one, huh? Uh oh. Aki, Aki. Luis, you got one of those Buckeye Nation shirts, buddy? Don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna come up with some questions for you, Luis, about Ohio. I know you said help me out if you got any uh, answers for me. Good to hear you had no tornado issues at least. I was like, oh crap! Like, do you guys usually even get tornadoes in Ohio? I mean, I didn't think you did, but who knows? The way weather is so wacky. why it's not as busy. That and it's the morning. Like I said, haven't done a morning walk in a while. But a lot of folks definitely wearing their either their favorite college team or where they went to college, one of the two. That time of year. That timeshare dude sometimes elsewhere. Earning Attention players, players. Ooh, I'm a player. Where the ladies play. at? Play or play? The first twenty dollars is on us. Yes, that's Buddy, I don't know if you're listening. You know much about Western and I guess maybe like Central Pennsylvania area?
here and you have a little chat. J, J, J. We're gonna let this taxi go. the rest because now we got the do not walk. If you come to the Walgreens or CBS, it's not going to be very cheap. Um, <laughs> that's why I'm be sneezing here. I didn't take my allergy medicine. Well, I'll bring it up now, just because it's on the top of my list, but I'll hopefully remember it when we actually walk by it, so it'll be a little more relevant. But Margaritaville, over there at the Flamingo, getting ready to close. They've been open more than 20 years, folks. Not sure. I just saw the headline, didn't read the full story, so I don't know if it's lease expiring or the uh, landlord want more they don't want to pay more not sure but nonetheless 20 years 20 plus years I should say no, I don't think so. no. and it's over let's go see what they're doing over here get involved in these guys' picture. I don't know what this guy, oh, there we go. I think they're working on the concrete. Yeah. I'm putting in some piles. Oh. probably wondering about these security guys here. They're making sure we get a little ways away. They're making sure the dude, let's see if we can get a better shot here. He's on the left hand side in the blue jacket there going by the planter. Green and black pants, green backpack. They were talking that security was talking to him so I don't know what they were saying, but it definitely sounds like, hey buddy, you need to keep walking. So they're following far behind. They're not to uh, all up on him. It's a little late for the St. Patrick's Day uh, theme here. By about a week. Eh, close to a week. Not quite a full one. We'll go up and around. You know what? Let's see if we can go in here. Or if Walgreens. Four waters. Now we're not actually going to buy any water, but my buddy, like with Scott in North Carolina, had suggested taking a look at prices of water here. So we're at the Walgreens by uh, lots of Venetian. I don't know, not too bad. How you doing? 
doing, man? Good, how you feeling? Yeah, good, thanks. We got all kinds of yeah. different waters here. No special, uh, no special prices here. Not like our friends at the ABC store that have the two for uh, two dollars. I'd come in and give you an idea of what the price of some water costs out here. Ten forty. I'm kind of surprised that there are so many uh, showgirls out here so far. Oh, I should have just stayed behind them. Should have stayed behind him and gone into the sea Walgreens. Should have been like, yo, lady, what's up? Can I uh, buy you a drink? What? I will say this. After uh, not walking for so long, it feels great to be out here. Got a lot of energy. Let's see. Boulevard is pretty quiet down there, huh? Oh, a couple of showgirls there. Folks getting ready for duty. No, I think they. Uh, I want to say that there's something. It's behind Circus Circus, and like you can go and I don't know shoot some high-powered weaponry. Took a little early turn there. Twisty twist. All right, Hank. We got that Margaritaville story. I'm pretty sure we'll get a stop here. We usually uh, do. I was going to say, I didn't even notice the temperature on the Walgreens thermometer. Like I said, today's supposed to be, I think, 78, 79, somewhere in that range. If I was flying, Goose would still be alive. Oh, hell no. Wow. That's a pretty good shirt, though. Whoop. For those of you that are taking note at home, that Californian just decided to make their own lane and think that they had both left-hand turn lanes. As a result, cut into where that Ford Expedition was. No, 
not honking at a pedestrian. I can't believe it. Guys, like, let me run across. Come on, run across, run across, sweetie. His girlfriend or wife. Oh, they're like, okay, fine, fine, fine. Look at the old guy. Come on, buddy, get across. You can do it. It's like, not me. I ain't running across, buddy. Clouds are coming back. Oh, little battle with the uh, between the sun and the clouds. I got some movie tickets for you. Oh no. Alright. Well we said CBS, but there is a walk. We'll go across. I think we'll get you an on purpose stop here so we can get you a definite news story. Only got you a couple so far, buddy. Plus I could use a little stop here. I was gonna say when you it's weird. When you haven't walked in over a week. And it's not really hot. It's nice weather. But because you haven't walked so long and you've been walking an hour, you're like, oh, I'm feeling pooped out. I could take a little break. So let's see what we got for you, Hank. Talk about the trauma. seating there Ace. and then Ace. they're gonna do a little bit of a little bit of uh, a mingo room and we'll renovate that puppy expand the meeting space which I believe is on the second floor if memory serves me correct as far as when I read the article Gonna do some renovations on the bowling center. Add a food hall. They're gonna renovate the check-in area. And I guess they're gonna have a raised center bar in the middle of the casino. That's gonna be have seating for I think 70, they said. There was a lot in that story, that's why I figured. That'd be a good story to 
get on. Even though it's not the strip, I'll still bring up other casinos around here. Because I know sometimes people don't always stay on the strip or that. Like I think Paul, memory serves correct, one of your relatives lives out here and they go uh, do the bingo thing at Green Valley, I think you said. So if they were on the Summerlin side, you could tell them, hey, they're gonna be uh, working on that bingo room out there here in the next couple of years, getting that done. your section buddy I was gonna say whoo we this summer's gonna be brutal only cuz I'm saying it I don't even know it's probably only like 70 degrees outside here I'm just not used to the walking on my legs underneath me yet believe it. That's probably what it was. Guys, who do I bet on? No, I'm not going to bet on them. can't believe Jerry is telling me to put it all on Madison State. What the hell? That is the biggest <laughs> Jerry went and flipped his lid. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, now you want money for the bracelets? Too bad, so sad, sucker. What? <laughs> Florida Atlantic, Northwestern, Baylor, Colgate. Whoa. Have you noticed? Maybe this sign's been here all the time. But I uh, I haven't noticed it before. Private property. They were going to be there. And that was going to be like, they were all going to be in my face. So I'm like, nah. Pizza convention out here. I don't know if it ended or not. Enjoy the last few glimpses you have out here of our friends at Margaritaville. Because like I said earlier, after 20 plus years, it's going to be G-O-N-E gone, Ray. You heard that, buddy? I know one time, a long time ago, you asked me some... Oh, when Jimmy Buffett passed away, if you... Um, if they had some type of tribute out there. I remember that. I think that was you that asked. Anyways, coming out to Vegas, buddy. Better check on the closure date for that.
I was gonna say, go figure. I say, oh, you never see showgirls, or barely ever see showgirls on the, the other side by Caesars. And, of course I'm wrong. Club dudes and gals. Even though it's like I said, 78, 79 today. I think it goes back to the 60s for the next couple weeks for the highs. So it won't exactly be super nice. Like usually, this time of year is pretty nice, usually in the 70s, like it is today. Like it was the last few days, although I think one of the days the temperature reached 80. That has got to be the longest I've seen it before. <laughs> See, I wasn't kidding about the uh, allergies, folks. Hey, look at those two geniuses. By those two geniuses, I'm talking about those two. Excellent work, school bus. Excellent work. Luis, let's get him for trespassing and uh, jaywalking. Double them up, baby. Coming along at the Versailles Tower. Like I said, they're dismantling that top area. I don't know if they're redoing all the streets or what exactly is happening. Time will tell what it ends up looking like. Yeah, I'm sure when they get done with it, they'll announce that they did such and such and it looks so much nicer. And these are their new fancy pants suites. Got Steve on sack. Hey, look. Look at our geniuses, folks. They're like, oh, how do we get over? So if you just keep walking straight, you'll be fine. Now he's got to help his girlfriend or wife and push her over. Uh oh. Don't push her over too far. Oh well. She, uh, now she's got to help him. <laughs> March Madness they're lining up. I'm guessing. I don't know. But look at this. Not even open yet and they got a line. Damn, I need to invest in them. I'm going to go in there. Can I buy uh, some stock in your restaurant, sir? Or ma'am? Excuse me. folks doing today we're good until we saw you buckaroo oh. come over here man i can get you a good deal man uh -oh. 
The guy's like, we don't bite. That lady's standing against the wall probably still like, nah. I know you guys. Maybe I live to go and just have a seat and everything. that situation. Bear Park. I'm sure they got all kinds of March Madness going on up there. for F1. It's funny, uh, F1 came out, I think, last week. And they were like, oh, they posted some billboards around town and advertised, you know. Dang. That dude laid on his horn. We got the walk. How about that? Now we'll let everyone trailblaze and break everything up for me. James Bird. I think it's time that we go through. A miracle mile. I'm just saying. Looks like they're working on the escalator out here at Planner Hollywood as well. walk by and see what's going on putting in a whole new uh, control unit I'm just kidding I don't know what the heck that is but nonetheless magic man's here <laughs> all is good today dude that dude in the red there that day club dude he's been out here a while Tipsy robot here for you. That guy was just 
walking around, and then he's like, oh, my crew left me. Ice water, a dollar. I didn't see that. What else it said? Took off the hat here. Got a little air conditioning. Once we go back out, put it back on. Looks like my bald head. We'll take the short way around today. Wow, look at this. Everyone's getting a massage today. Holy crap, man. I never see it filled up like that. Oh, I thought that whole area was shut off. I was gonna be like, holy crap, how you shut the whole area off? <laughs> Anyways, it'd be nice to do walks here and see all the renovations that are taking place. They got a bobcat there, breaking up some of that tile. Wonder what's going to be in these places. Jay, we got our favorite ABC store here, buddy. They, of course, still have the two for two bottles going on of water, or one for a buck twenty-five. Friday, like I said, I'm hoping that I can get this puppy uploaded today and have no issues. But I'm sure I'll have issues because that's just the norm. Van Stan's Revolution over here. They're getting prepped. 
Yoko got their mobile crane out here. The HTC 3140. That's my favorite crane, personally. I'm just kidding. I have no idea. Let's see. Oh, let's talk about the Rio. Anyone catch new videos of that place, huh? What do you know? $860 million investment. Looking pretty good. They added a food hall over there. Oh, look, she's posing. She's insta-famous. She's like, okay. Looking pretty good, though, huh? They got the marquee fixed up. Looks like all the lighting and the exterior. They got all that squared away. Looking pretty good, huh? Just like I told you guys when everyone was like, oh, my God. It's a crap hole. Don't stay here. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't see a whole lot of people saying, oh, man, look at all these changes they've made. I've seen a few people. <laughs> but nonetheless. I was going to say, Ray, I got the one in the white pants. Ah, which one? You're so funny, Eric. I know. A man wingman. I'm kidding. I'm your wingman, dude. Oh, karaoke corner. Look. Oh, my gosh. George, hey guys, Mike, George yeah, Michael's back again. We were so impressed by his first go around that he was like, man, I need to be singing it when Eric comes around the corner. Don't see too many showgirls on this side usually. I was going to say it's kind of weird. Today seems to be like weird side for showgirls or something. Because it seems like the places we typically see them, or that we don't typically see them, like all of a sudden, they're all out. Maybe that's a morning thing. I don't know. I do know probably, let's see, probably about a month maybe two months from now they are going to well I'll be walking early for sure because of the overheating situation usually See if the escalator is working over here today. Lately, there have been problems over on this side, escalator wise. Sometimes I wonder who invented the escalator, because that's a brilliant idea, man. I mean, basically, motorized stairs that move you rather than you having to move you. Let's see what else we got. Oh. Little, not the area we usually walk, but uh, over by the stratosphere, there's a atomic golf being put in. That's gonna be opening here pretty soon. It's kind of like top golf is what it sounds like for the most part. Let's see how um, uh, doing the construction on it here and there sometimes when I roll by that area, that part of town. Looks like it's coming along. I don't golf. I don't know how to golf. I tried. I can't even manage your golf. I suck so bad. 
but for those of you that like to golf, hey, maybe give it a try. Let us know how it turns out. today see they got the exterior looking nice I walked by earlier the exterior straight ahead as well where that penta sign is looking pretty nice Seven. We've had some good discussions about them. I didn't know that they did the breakfast uh, thing. Thanks to you guys telling me. Now as I know. One of these days, maybe I'll try it. We'll see. I think the gal in the green that was playing with her hair wanted to be like, hey, put me on Instagram. I mean, put me on Instagram. Stuff. My dumbass. Put me on the YouTube, man. from London? Oh, let me give you this card then. It's got my name on it. I get a commission if you go and eat there. <laughs> you know, the weird thing about that, like, it's all based on trust. Because, I mean, let's say you hand out, I don't know, 300 cards in that day. Like, you don't know how many of the people actually went there. What if it's N-O-N-E, as in none? That's gonna suck. But what if 20 people went there? They gave the card, the computer system wasn't working, and whoever rings it up is like, eh, I don't care. to the MGM. That is our home for this morning. like this side of the Mason Dixon line has only had those uh, two showgirls. What is the goose thing today? Talk to me, goose. 
That's the second goose thing. Is there some band that named themselves like Top Gun? address it anyways because some of you come here and go to Fremont Street for those of you that do go to Fremont Street I don't know if you uh, how often you go there etc or if it's just like I haven't been there in five years let me go down there no I'm not going down anyways to combat the issues they have down there as far as crimes and all that good stuff city of Las Vegas has two metro officers in a team. They usually start around 10 in the morning and they walk around the area and make their presence known and according to the story that I saw, you know, they'll write you up for certain things, you know, can't be smoking weed in public. Yes, it's legal here in Nevada, but not legal to just smoke anywhere you want. And supposedly, they claim, like, it's worth the But that's a good idea to try and make sure things are doing all right. Oh, look at this. Oh, she got her gimbal, too. They got the basketball going for March Madness here. I guess when one of those two breaks, they got a third one in the back to replace it. Yeah, I'm say, wow. Hey, Ain't no showgirls on the other side. <laughs> Mason Dixon line proves to be pretty correct again. A lot on one side and Nunzo on the other. Well, just those two, I think, were they in red? I don't know. I think they were in red. I'm thinking the walks won't be super busy today. And if I walk on Sunday. When you're right, you're right. Why is that? March Madness, folks. It's like the battle of good versus evil here. We got the sun, the good, trying to battle the evil, the clouds. Although realistically, you kind of need clouds because you kind of, you know, precipitation is kind of an important thing last time I checked. But today, that's where we're labeling good versus bad. Good versus evil, whatever. throw it because I'll spike it right back at you what? that jacked up man I was like which way do I go 
Escalator's working. I'm going up. Wow. That really is. Hey, huh? No winter. Not even like Buzz or Woody or any of them. Well, I guess they have Mickey and Minnie over there. As you can see, still see, they're working on the uh, MGM Lion. Trying to get it all nice and shined up. It's taking a while. I guess there are a lot of a lot of area to cover, even though it might not look like it. And I'm thinking safety-wise, it must be a nightmare to. Uh, what do you call it? it must be a nightmare safety wise to keep those guys from potentially falling and if they fall having a system set up so that they don't fall and go splat or break in 50 pieces <laughs> oh I'm good thanks dude we're just gonna go straight ahead into the MGM. Oh, we won't record all the way through. Oh, don't close so fast there, door. Well, folks, you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing. Hope you're having an excellent weekend. Like I said, I'm gonna do my best to get this puppy up on Saturday. No promise, but I'm trying to. It might be a little later, rather than my usual 10 a.m., 11 a.m. premiere. Ooh, look, they put everything up here. For the March Madness, they got all kinds of seating. I don't remember all those seats set up. Pretty good. Anyways, folks, do want to say thank you. Have a good day, good weekend. We'll see you soon. I'm back for a little bit.